What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet. The brother who told you not to listen to the duck face gremlin, but you did it anyway, and now your refrigerator is full of sperm samples. And I'm black up in your face again with some more pro black commentary. So, Sour Lemon Duck Face is back again on this channel. Okay, and that is, for those who missed the last video I did on her, that is Miss Ebony. K. Williams, and I spoke about her not too long ago, and some of the commentary that she made about how she would never date someone who was a bus driver, but she is still on the hunt now to have a have a baby by herself, basically, and so she's been going to the sperm banks and trying to find a suitable donor, and she was promoting this while she was on The View. And now she's promoting this nonsense on her own little show that they have on the Grio. And, you know, I didn't know anything about this until Jason Black did a program about it. And I appreciate uh, Brother Jason Black for even taking time to address this. And it actually is important because it shows it shows a new level to a very destructive mindset. And what I mean by that is now... You have women like Ebony K. Williams supporting and endorsing, you know, not trying to find a suitable mate, per se, but they're just going to go ahead and find some sperm somewhere and give birth to a child and be a single mother by choice, as she puts it. And that is the new mantra out there. And this is actually a little bit more nefarious than I originally thought of. You know, it, it's, it's funny to laugh at. I mean, I guess it's okay to laugh at how ridiculous Ebony K. Williams is once you look back at her relationships and you look about, look back at a lot of things she's tried to do and failed at, and but she still kind of like is on her high horse and looking down on certain people, but she'll still stoop to this level in order to have a child. She still feels that she's entitled to have a child and be a mother by herself, right? Even though she's kind of destroyed and messed up all of her actual relationships and all of her chances to be a mother within a family structure, right? So, you know, she's pushing this nonsense out here, but at the end of the day, this is part of the plan when it comes to these sick, demented elitists that sit on top of all of us, okay? They've been promoting this type of nonsense since the advent of of the feminist movement, that they want women to be by themselves with children, because a woman by herself with a child is extremely vulnerable to a lot of different things. They're easier to control, okay, they'll vote however they're told to, right, and they'll be consummate consumers. They won't really have any real economic independence like they would if they were within a, a true family structure. OK, that's one of the reasons they enjoy breaking up families, because it's a lot easier to control a female who just has a child by herself. And it doesn't matter whether she's on welfare or it doesn't matter if she's a quote unquote corporate female with a child by herself, which is what Ebony K. Williams truly is. She she thinks she's actually a lot better off than she actually is. I, I know for a fact because I know the behind the scenes and what people like her make. The fact that she claims to be someone who is a law graduate, but she's still doing commentary on TV, that to me shows that she wasn't good at being a lawyer, per se. So she's not making a lot of money doing that. So that's why she does the TV appearances, because that's what really pays her, right? And and being on TV shows and reality TV and whatnot. So her money comes from entertainment. It doesn't really come from her actual profession. So that shows right then and there where her bread and butter comes from. So of course she's going to be on this tip of, you know, trying to make it seem like she's better, but really she's just the highly paid reality star. That's basically all she is right now. And, you know, I would feel bad for her, but because of her arrogance and her disdain for humanity, <laughs> <laughs> Not just disdain for black people and black men in particular, 
Because I, I have to truly believe that someone who just wants to, you know, get some uh, a sperm sickle and, you know, have a child that way. And, and I'm not talking about someone who has actual medical issues. I'm talking about someone who just deliberately says, F men, F procreation, F family. I want to have a child still, though. So that's what it's become because it's not originally what a lot of this fertility clinic stuff was for was for people who were having trouble with their conception, people who had actual families and they were having trouble conceiving a child. But now you got a lot of these selfish fools out here who probably shouldn't be having children. They haven't proven that they're able people or that they're mentally competent to be raising a child, but they just want to have it just because, because they, they're in their selfish mind, they feel that that's what they need. They don't want to compromise in finding a mate or compromise in, in finding someone to raise a family with, but their compromise comes when they want to get the sperm. And that's even Ebony K. Williams talks about that in this little audio I'm going to play for you right now. So let's listen to a little bit of it. And I'll give you my commentary as we go through. And, you know, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but just enough of it so you guys get the idea of the crap that she's talking about. All of the options that are hard work and circumstances currently afford. Let me rewind that so we can get her full, her full statement at the right volume here. That duck face is killing me. She's still. It's funny. Every time I pause it, anytime I pause one of her videos, she her, that's like her resting face. That sour lemon duck face. <laughs> that means that there's something wrong with her as far as. No matter what she tries to appear to be, if she even tries to appear to be happy or she tries to appear to be, you know, some other facial expression or some other type of attitude, she still has that bitter look. That's her resting face, you know, is this look of bitterness, disappointment and failure, you know, so it doesn't matter whenever she gets to that point. That's where her face is always going to look like. And that's that's. I, I can see why no man wants to be around her because I can't imagine looking at that face 24-7. That, that's horrible to have a woman look at you like that 24-7 and just be unsatisfied in her entire life. Okay, But let's go back and we'll, we'll listen to the audio of what Ebony K. Williams has to say about getting herself a sperm sickle. ...ourselves to all of the options that our hard work and circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. Now, I don't know why she's putting black women in this. Black women have enough problems with being single mothers without this added on to it. You see, she feels she still lives in this fantasy world where all black women are financially stable and doing so much better than black men. And black women are just on the rise financially and success wise. So they have no other choice but to have children on their own. So rather than trying to find a man because they would have to lower themselves to be with a black man. Now they have to go out there and just go ahead and get a sperm sickle from a clinic somewhere. Let's keep on listening. So anybody that's in their feelings about that can go ahead and start to process right now. It's not about us being in our feelings, Ebony. You're the one that's in your feelings, which is obvious by the duck face. I mean, she's the one that's in her feelings. That's why she's doing this. If, if if she was compatible with somebody or if she could just be a little bit more open to being with a man and being a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? If she just came off her, her high horse and became more compatible with other people, she wouldn't even be in this situation, but the arrogance and and the ego overrides everything else. Let's listen some more. Because black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. So relationships are not in their best interest, marriages are not in their best interest, they don't want to lower themselves to be in a relationship, now we're just going to have children without it. Now, 
sad to say there have been black women doing that forever, but I guess now it's, it's even hard enough to find someone to hook up with. Now they're just going to go ahead and get themselves a sperm sickle and go find themselves a clinic somewhere where some random guy dumps some sperm into a jar somewhere or into a, a tube and they're going to use that. Whether it be, I don't know how they implant it in these clinics. I don't know if they got like a, a, a mechanized turkey baster or whatever, but that's what she's going to go for. That's what she's promoting right now. Let's listen some more. And now that bypassing those insufficient relationships does not... And you see how she's talking about it? They're, they're bypassing the insufficient relationships. Now, was the relationship with the white man insufficient, Ebony? Because she tried her damnedest to be with this white man, but he kicked her to the curb during the pandemic, remember? She wanted to, you know, for them to quarantine together. He was like, you know what? No, nah, I'm... I'm going to go quarantine over here in this mansion with my kids. And even though we live in a mansion, there's still no room for you. So uh, see you when I see you. <laughs> He's like, I got I got all my, my brown sugar fix out of my system. I'm going to go quarantine with my kids over here. And I'll see you later, Ebony. So I guess that relationship was insufficient, too, when she got kicked to the curb. I have to come at the expense of motherhood. Well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose. Because now we get to do the choosing. And see, this is this is the weird part of it. This is the this is the trick bag. They're making it seem all about choices. They did the same thing with abortion too. They promoted abortion the same way. It's all about the choices you're being given. Okay, this is the nonsense that they put onto Women, but black women especially, it's like it's all about your choices. So you can be free and be as hedonistic and selfish as you want for yourself. Okay, so you don't even have to have the child. But now, if you want a child, we'll we'll get you a sperm sickle and we'll make one for you. That's what it is, and that's what Ebony is promoting right now, basically. Okay, uh, you don't have to. You don't have to be. Uh, a girlfriend, a, a wife, you can just get a child just just on GP, I guess, just because your your black girl magic says that you're successful enough and you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Somehow you still can't get a man, but you deserve to have a child because just because, right? So let's let's listen some more, and I'll, I'll give some more commentary after it's done. And as we choose, we do have to contend with the reality of a dismally small supply of black sperm. Oh shit. That see? It's, it's still black man's fault, goddammit. <laughs> you damn you Negroes, you 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 trash bag dusties, it's still our fault somehow. You see that? Now black women are trying to bypass all these relationships. And they want to be mothers by choice, single mothers by choice, and they uh, and we they still can't even get any damn black sperm. See, see, black men, it's still your fault. You see that? <laughs> because most black women on this journey, we want to create children that look like us and that look like our families, and that means we want black sperm. Are you sure, Ebony? Because weren't weren't you trying to get with a white guy a couple of times? So you were trying to get with a white guy, but now all of a sudden you want a kid that looks like you. I don't know if I want a child to look like you, Ebony. If it's going to come out with that duck face, it's going to be looking like uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie from DuckTales or something like that. I don't know if I want children walking around looking like that, Ebony. And as we heard from Reese Brooks, it's the definition of slim pickings. And sometimes that means compromising on this aspect of your journey. Okay, so I'm not going to play anymore. But, but listen to that part of it. So... You're willing to compromise on trying to find some black sperm, but you're not willing to compromise when it comes to finding a mate to be with. You see how ridiculous that is? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You can't come on TV talking about, I'm not dating a bus driver. So you're not willing to compromise when it comes to that. Everyone has to have the same income or more than you. So you can spend up all his money. That's basically what that is when, when you see... A lot of these weirdo uh, professional women nowadays talking about the guy has to make more. It's, it's basically so I can spend his money and and keep mine safe in a, a savings account somewhere. But uh, 
now you're saying you'll compromise in that regard where it comes to getting this sperm, but you won't compromise when it comes to getting a mate. That's backwards. And it makes you look as goofy as goofy can look. Okay? So, I mean, you folks can let me know how you feel about this in the comments section. I mean, I do find it interesting that these women are literally on the hunt for sperm, but they don't want to they don't want to compromise in any way when it comes to finding a mate. They don't want to change their attitude. They don't want to change how they act or interact with people. And I'm saying people as a whole because this is not so much just a black people problem or a black woman problem, but it's going to affect black people the most. Because anytime America has any problems that is a detriment to the citizens, black people suffer the worst. And when you got goofy females like Ebony K. Williams promoting this type of nonsense, it's going to be very disastrous for the black community if they fall into it anyway. Now, I don't know... I don't know how much black women are going to jump into this because, like like even Ebony said, this is expensive, okay? You're going to spend up all your little ducats trying to do this nonsense, right? And maxing out all your little credit cards trying to do this nonsense. I don't believe health insurance covers sperm sickles, okay? So no matter what kind of job you got with whatever type of benefits you got, I don't think it covers the sperm sickle, okay? Not... Not just because you feel like being a single mom by choice. This is for, once again, people who need these types of things. I'm sure they come first before, you know, the hedonist, selfish female show up talking about, I want to be a single mom by choice. You might have to go find you a bus driver, Ebony. If things don't work out, really, I know she says she got some sperm somewhere and she's saving it. <laughs> I don't know where she's saving it at. I would hate to go, you know over her house and trying to get some Kool-Aid or something like that, and, and she's got sperm sickle sitting in the freezer. But I don't know, you know, she might have to just lower herself and find herself a good bus driver somewhere and, you know, make sure it's not the violent bus driver, the one that's going to give you an uppercut. Make sure you get yourself a regular old bus driver and get some of his sperm, and you'll find have a kid that looks like you, Ebony, without the duck face, by the way, without the duck face. You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Anyway, mad black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.